Welcome everyone back to more Monday Night Raw. We continue on the road to Warzone. Uh, we got a stacked card for you here tonight on Raw. As Raw comes from Orlando, Florida, we get a stacked action as I mentioned. So let's get straight into it. And this match, there is a lot at stake. Because the way management here on Raw announced Hell in a Cell, Roman Reigns, Shinsuke Nakamura at... Uh, Warzone will be the third match of between those two and it will be the final one that will be the decider Whether it's Nakamura or Reigns one of them will walk out Two to one is currently going to beat one win each so whoever wins a hell in a cell will end it. That's the decider So at Warzone there will be a fatal five-way number one contendership matchup to see who would be next in line whether it be Reigns or Nakamura who walks out of Hell in a Cell at Warzone with the belt. So this is a qualifier for that five way. And for Finn Balor it's more than just that. Because he goes up against the Colossal almost. And even though Finn Balor beat AJ Styles. At our last pay per view event Judgment Day. Almost tried to cost him almost his music. And his Titantron came up on the screen trying to distract Finn Balor. But it wasn't enough for the Prince as he overcame the phenomenal one. Now he gets his hands on almost for, almost for trying to cost Balor. And if he wins tonight, Finn heads to Warzone. He heads to that five way. And he heads to that number one contendership matchup as Finn Balor. Looks ready, so a lot of stake on the lines for Finn. Revenge, one thing. Shot at a future championship match, another thing. So will the Prince be able to overcome the Colossal Omos? And we actually haven't seen Omos yet here on Raw. Or we haven't, we, like we only seen his music. We've only heard his music. We've only seen a strong that played at Judgment Day. We actually haven't seen Omos himself. And here he comes. When they look at the size of him, almost he's a giant, and it's gonna be hard for Finn Balor to overcome. Almost, you see the at the giant almost lost himself. And I wonder why he almost tried. To screw Finn Balor at Judgment Day. I wonder what almost his problem with Finn is. Well, whatever it is, almost is going to get his hands on Finn, and Finn is also going to try get a bit of revenge. And almost in his very first matchup has a chance to qualify for that Phil Five Way, which could give him a future shot at the WWE Championship. And you got to say, someone the size of almost is, even if he had four other competitors against him, he'd still be the favourite. So Finn Balor got a tough, tough, tough challenge ahead of him if he wants to get into that Warzone matchup. And our opening contest here on Raw, qualifier for that and fail five win number one contendership matchup, Finn Balor versus Almost. And as I mentioned, there is a lot more than just qualifying for that number one contendership matchup on the line for Balor. Almost tried interfering on uh, almost driving Balor down with the power bomb. Tried interfering in Balor's match against AJ Styles at Judgment Day. But Balor was still able to overcome almost or er, still able to get the win over AJ. Well he was out for a bit of payback on almost for interfering here tonight. But almost look at the size of this man just powering Balor up, driving him down with power bombs. This is gonna be a challenge for Balor. And I don't know if it's a challenge he can overcome. Can he slay the giant? And almost just throwing Finn around the ring. But Finn fighting back kick to the head of almost. And again right hands raining down. By Finn, that's what Finn needs to do. He needs to use his strikes again, kick to the back. He's not going to outpower 
almost he needs to use his speed use his strikes use his high flying abilities as Finn drops the knee onto almost this is what Balor needs to do goes for the cover one two almost gets the shoulder up Finn he's telling the referee that should have been a free count and now Finn has almost dragging him into the corner but almost drives the elbows into the midsection of Balor fighting off Finn now almost oh sleeper drop drives Finn away from the ropes goes for a cover does almost one count only Finn Balor kicks out Big slam driving Finn into the mat is almost an almost incomplete control. Finn needs to start doing something here. And he does those big right hands connecting, rocking almost. And now Finn fired up with this comeback. Sling blade it. Goes for cover. One, two. And almost gets the short up at two. Finn. What's he got planned for almost? Irish Whip sends him into the corner. Dragging him away from the corner. Now Finn has him in his sights. Big drop kick and all. Almost may have hit his head off the turnbuckle on that one. And that sets him up in position. Finn Balor up to the top rope. Drops the knee. But I was going to go coup de grab, but he went for the knee instead. And the big right hands, maybe feeling coup de gras isn't going to be enough. Maybe he needs to flick more damage to almost kick to the spine. And now Finn back out, back up top. And this time he goes for the coup de gras, but almost miss or almost reverses. But Finn kicked to the midsection and almost just swatting him away. And almost just drives Finn into the mat once again. And all oh, just the claw. Just the claw. And Balor shots to the midsection, breaking it. And now almost sent into the corner once again by Balor. But almost gets the elbow up. And Finn SEO drives almost head first into the mat. And Finn out on the apron, calling almost to his feet. But almost just drags him back in, maybe wasted too much time. Should have just went for whatever he was going for. And oh, Palado fighting back with the chops, almost reversal. And almost has him up on the shoulder. And just drops him face first into the corner. Now stepping on Finn, just driving all the way into Balor, but Balor still showing fight. Low over, D, D, T. And again, the DDT planting almost head first. As Finn looks to go up top, is he going to go for it? Coup de gras connects, coup de gras. Feet into the chest of almost one, two, three. And Finn Balor gets the victory. And Finn Balor, not only does he get a bit of revenge on almost for the attack, for the interference. But Finn Balor is going to war zone. And look at this AJ Styles. AJ Styles through the crowd. And Finn Balor getting out of there. And Finn going, and AJ going at it. Finn Balor, oh, pillow cake. Finn Balor defeated AJ Styles at Judgment Day, even though almost tried to interfere and help AJ. Now this time it's AJ continuing the assault on Balor. But as I mentioned, Balor, he will be going to war zone if he can make it there. AJ trying to make sure Finn doesn't get there. And this one's been broken up. And this feud between Balor and AJ is far from over. And Raw continues on with women's division action. As we see Ember Moon about to make her way to the ring. 
And there you see Ember. Very, very talented athlete in the Roman's division. First time seeing her here, though. Of course, speaking of the women's division, Charlotte Flair will defend that championship belt against Liv Morgan at Warzone. After the referee missed the call when Liv got her foot up on the ropes at Judgment Day. That match will be no disqualifications, no countouts. That match will be extreme rules to avoid any more uh, referee mess ups. Liv Morgan gets her rematch and it will be extreme rules match at Warzone. And you gotta believe Liv Morgan, or sorry, Ember Moon. We have either Liv Morgan or Charlotte Flair in her sights somewhere down the line. Like I say every time. But so are their opponent. Because everyone in this Raw Women's division. They're here for one reason. That is the Raw Women's Championship as is held by Charlotte Flair. And Natalia is someone who would love to get her name down on a list of potential challengers. This daughter of Jim the Anvil Nighthair is Natalia. Her uncle's Brett Owen, Davy Boy, the British Bulldog. Very, very talented professional wrestlers, Natalia. As I mentioned, the family heritage, she was born to do this. And this should be a good one Natalia versus Ember Moon. Well, only one of these women can leave Raw here with the victory. Will it be Ember? Will it be Natalia as we get ready for this one? And you see Ember, you see Natalia, they are ready to get this underway. The bell is rung. And Ember going straight for Natalia, but Natalia trying to grab Ember, but Ember fighting back with those elbow shots to the midsection. And Ember springboard, and oh, springboard kick, I think. I don't even know what to call that. And now Ember bow and arrow. Stretching Natalia, driving the knees into the back and the spine of Ember Moon. Natalia rolls over into the cover. Ember kicks out. And Ember with the boot to the midsection and a fisherman suplex by Ember Moon. And a big drop kick to the back of Natalia as Ember goes for that neck breaker and floats over. Butterfly suplex connect in. And this has all been all Ember Moon so far. And Ember, though, fighting back is Natalia with those elbows and chops. Boot to the midsection on that knee. Sent into the chest of Ember Moon. And now going to work on the arm is Natalia. And Natty just working over the arm of Ember. Ember fighting back. Going for that fisherman once again, connecting. Both women missing with their respective kicks. Ember connects with that one though. Sends Natalia off the ropes. Go behind by Ember Moon again. Sends Natalia into the corner this time. And now using the ropes to work over the leg of Natalia. Nadio fighting back into this one. Go behind it. Big drum sends Ember Moon flying. And again, going to work on the knees, trying to weaken Ember Moon down. And back to the arm goes Natalia, working that arm of Ember Moon is Natty. Now Natalia picks up Ember. And Natty fighting off with those chops. Go behind once again. And just takes down Ember Moon, wrestling takedown. And a big knee that may have knocked Ember Moon out. A chain pack on that knee. And now in the corner, Natalia, big suplex connecting, takes down Ember Moon, using the ropes for extra spring, but Ember fighting back once again, misses with the kick though, Natalia has her big suplex by Natalia Neidhart, and Natalia in position, 
for I don't even know what to call this. Just stretching Ember Mundo, got her legs tied up, stretching on the arms. Just wearing down Ember, but Ember gets out of it. Gets caught butterfly. Suplex connecting by Natalia. Natty goes for a cover. One, two, and oh, Ember 2.9. Natalia, she thinks that should have been a three count. It was a very close call, but our referee says it was only a two. But now, grabbing her, locking her in. Natalia, sharpshooter, sharpshooter locked in. Will Ember Moon submit to the sharpshooter? Sharpshooter locked in deep. Natalia has it locked in. Amber able to turn it around and kick Natalia off. And Amber now. Oh, just planted it in Natalia face first. That like version of a famous there. And now Amber up top rope. Is she going to go for it? Amber. Oh, with the knees. With the knees. Goes for the cover, Amber Moon won. One count only. And a spin kick to the midsection. Now dragging Natalia into position away from the ropes. And now locking in a submission hold of her own. Legs trapped, goes for the submission hold. Will Natalia submit? Nowhere to go. And Natalia able to break the grip and oh, big elbow to the face of Ember Moon. Now Irish Whip sends Ember off the ropes. Benati gets her up on the shoulders. Electric chair drop. Now Natalia. Gets caught with that Insigori by Ember. And now Ember up top. Is she going to go for it? Is she going to go for the Eclipse? That finishing move. That corkscrew stunner. Ember calling Natalia to her feet. Goes for the Connects. Eclipse. Eclipse connects. Hook of the outside leg. One. Two. Three. And Ember Moon picks up the victory over Natalia here on Raw. And what a matchup that was between Natalia and Ember Moon. And Ember gets the big victory over Natalia here tonight. What a win for Ember Moon. And it is main event time here on Raw. And it is another Warzone Fail 5 win number one contendership matchup qualifier. We've already seen Finn Balor win with that victory over almost. Who will be joining him at Warzone in three weeks? Will it be this man, Jeff Hardy? Jeff Hardy missed out on a chance at qualifying for the Elimination Chamber back and no way out. As did Finn Balor, I must mention. After the feet to Edge. But can Jeff Hardy make best of this opportunity so he can finally prove he deserves one more run at the top? He has a big challenge ahead of him. We'll talk about his opponent once his opponent starts to make his way to the ring. As Jeff Hardy, the charismatic enigma, making his way now around ringside, applauding the fans, his creatures of the night. And again, Jeff Hardy. Very popular superstar here in the WWE. He's been there, he's done it all. But he's looking to prove he's still got it. But can he qualify for Warzone? Can he qualify for that fail five way? As here comes his opponent. A man who actually did get into the elimination chamber match and pop quite a showing. At the end of the day, Austin Theory did not walk out as WWE Champion. But here is his opportunity to get another opportunity at future shot. And his opponent and as I mentioned, Jeff Hardy, someone, he's been there, he's done it all. And he's looking to prove he's still got it. 
Austin Theory at the other end of the scale where he's a young up and comer looking to prove that he is not the bit that he is more than just the next big thing, but he is the current best thing. And what a matchup this should be. Austin Theory, Jeff Hardy, your main event here on Raw. Only one man can pick up the victory and go all the way. Or can go to that fell five way at Warzone and join Finn Balor. Will it be Theory? Will it be Hardy? We are about to find out. But Austin Theory, he looks ready. He looks pumped for this opportunity, this challenge against Jeff. As you see Jeff Hardy, one corner, Theory in the other. And we are underway for this main event. Austin Theory, Jeff Hardy, number or qualifier match for a Vafil 5 way number one contendership matchup at Warzone. As Austin Theory going straight to work on Jeff Hardy, going to Jeff early. Snap suplex sends Jeff Hardy down. Theory sends Jeff into the corner. And now Irish whip. And oh, big elbow by Austin Theory. Goes for the cover. One, two. Jeff gets the shoulder up. A Theory just standing on the head. Jeff. And now Fisherman. Oh, Fisherman Buster. Jeff Hardy is in trouble. This has been all Austin Theory earliest. Theory looks to fly. Big flash connects. Big splash by Austin Theory. And Jeff finally fighting back, fighting back it is the charismatic enigma. And a big suplex drops Austin Theory. Now Jeff, reverse suplex, dropping Theory once again. Now going to work on the arm. Those big right hands by Jeff Hardy going to work on Austin Theory and a big kick to the back. And Jeff going up top looking to fly is the high risk offense of Jeff Hardy with the elbow. And Jeff picking up Theory going to work with those chops and kicks. And Jeff big suplex on Theory. And again, with the right hands, is Jeff Hardy lighting up Austin Theory. And Jeff looking for it. Twist of Fate. Twist of Fate connects. Is Jeff Hardy going to join Balor in that match at Warzone 1 2? Oh, and Theory gets the shoulder up. And Jeff Hardy. Swan Tom Bomb connects. This wanton bomb connects, that's gotta be it. Jeff Hardy is going to join Balor and that number one contention match at Warzone. And Austin Theory kicks out. Theory kicks out of the Swanton and fight drops Jeff with the Lariat. And Jeff Hardy in trouble here as Theory back in control. Irish Whip sends Jeff into the corner. And oh, here comes Theory. Rolling with the Blockbuster. Oh, super kick. Super kick. Cut off the Blockbuster. And Jeff drives Austin Theory head first into the mat. And Theory though cuts off Hardy with the Lariat. What a main event this has been. Both men doing everything to be put in that number one contendership match at Warzone. Only one man can get there though as Theory drops back. Oh no, drops Jeff Hardy driving him into the mat. As Theory looks to go up top. What has Austin got in mind? Not because Jeff too far away. And that may have cost Theory that inexperience. Just laying off Jeff Hardy with that hurricane runner now. And theory sweep of the leg. Gains control. And oh super kick. He's going for it. A taxi uh hooks the leg. One. Two. And Jeff kicks out. And Theory cannot believe it. Theory hit Jeff Hardy with his best shot. And he thought that was a three count. But Jeff Hardy fighting back still. And the fisherman driving Jeff Hardy into the mat. As Theory looks to put away Jeff Hardy. But Jeff fighting back. Jeff 
again, picks up Theory, just slamming him down, goes for the cover, one, two, no, only a two count, Austin Theory still in this one, and another slam by Jeff, just driving Theory into the mat, and a kick to the spine, And now, swanton bomb. That's got to be it, surely. Jeff Hardy going to war zone. One, two, three. And that is a victory for the charismatic enigma. And what a main event that was between Austin Theory and Jeff Hardy. But it's Jeff Hardy who gets the win. And it's Jeff Hardy who will be in that Phil 5 way number one contendership match for the WWE Championship at Warzone. Who will join Hardy? We already know Finn Balor is in that matchup. There's three spots left, and we'll find out in the coming weeks here on Raw. Tune in Friday for SmackDown, and we'll see you then.